The United Nations estimates that by 2030, every six out of 10 people in the world will live in urban areas, and of those, every six out of 10 will be under the age of 18. Researchers say cities are responsible for 75% of greenhouse gas emissions through its energy use, and it needs to develop urban climate action plans, which should be led by the youth, who supports new innovations and is exposed to digital transformation. Blue Green Growth Strategies are emerging concept that really resonates with uh, the youth who are open to novelty and new innovation. So if you look at uh, an action like uh, implementing blue and green rules, these are new innovations that are coming. The youth will also want to engage in urban gardens, permeable pavings, urban afforestation, climate smart agriculture, uh, green entrepreneurship, circular economy, and all of that. Researchers say rapid urbanization puts extra pressure on infrastructure and its ability to counter climate impact, such as floods and extreme heat. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has warned that under all climate scenarios, above the 1.5 degrees Celsius average global surface temperature, there is a high risk of people dying from heat in many African cities. Research in Lagos, Nigeria, has shown the link between disease and extreme temperatures. Within five, uh, zero to five days of exposure to extremely high temperatures above that minimum risk temperature, the tendency for an increase in the risk, uh, in the, um, an uh, increase in the um, emergency, in the frequency of emergency admissions um, in hospitals for cardiovascular diseases. Similarly, if temperatures are extremely cold beyond that range in which the human body can adjust, they are in, we have increased risk for cardiovascular emergencies. Research shows that one of the solutions lies in urban green spaces. There's evidence that urban green spaces play a vital role in reducing mental health issues as well as heat-related deaths. Green trees, experts say, reduce the impact of heat and also combat pollution and noise. So it's not just about providing green places and spaces. They have to be good places, <laughs> biodiverse places, um, robust, resilient places <clears throat> that can help buffer um, the impacts of climate change and provide places that are resilient, sustainable, um, for people and importantly equitable that that these health benefits that we receive from urban green and blue spaces that they are provided for everybody knight also emphasized the key role of women in climate change action as research shows that more than 60 percent of urban farmers are women and she says there's evidence that by involving women in decision making there tends to be better environmental outcomes for all renee heiner sabc news durban